Hello everybody, I am Frida Stauffer and I have uh, had a load of fun uh, creating today's video for you. I hope that you enjoy watching it as much as I did making it. Um, I cooked something I never cooked before. It's a lamb, a lamb loin. I roasted a lamb loin. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. But I did and it's delicious. I will link the recipe down below in case you'd like to make it. And I got that lamb from Aldi and it's hal halal. It has the halal label on it. Oh my gosh, Hello everybody. I am starting a recipe that I just, I'm just learning. I found this halal lamb loin at uh, Aldi and I want to follow the recipe that I found on Pinterest for roasting a, a lamb loin. So I'm going to, because we like a lot of flavor, I'm going to double all the ingredients. That's one, two red pepper flakes. It was a teaspoon and a half, so I, I did it twice. And then it says two tablespoons of oregano. It says fresh, but I'm using dry, so it's a lot more potent. So that's, that's really going to be potent. And then black pepper. Uh, so it said about a teaspoon of black pepper. Wait, this let me dry it. season for the rub. I'm going to rub it. Okay, they are all mixed together. Spices and I wanted to show you where it says halal here. On the front label, right there, it says halal. And it came from Aldi. Aldi sometimes has halal lamb. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, okay, so I'm coating it like it says, and then I'm gonna let it come to room temperature. And in the meantime, I'm going to cook the balsamic glaze. This doesn't get any salt in this part. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna let it sit here and and come to room temperature and um, absorb some of this flavor. Okay. Prime. Coming with prime. Okay, so there it is all coated. And then I'm going to cover it with foil to roast. Isn't it beautiful? I've never done this before, but I thought I, I'm going to try it. <laughs> Wish me luck. Now here is the um, items for the sauce, the glaze that will go on the lamb loin. It's made with balsamic vinegar, garlic, brown sugar, oh yeah, I need to grab the sea salt too, and uh, avocado oil. It asks for olive oil, but I'm using, I mean, asks for olive oil, but I'm using avocado because it has a much higher smoke point than, um, than um, olive oil does. So this, is my preferred oil to use in this glaze because what I do I put the uh, olive oil and garlic in the pan first to uh, get that smell going the garlicky smell and the oil will be infused with the flavor of the garlic and I wanted to go with the avocado because I prefer the taste of avocado oil too 
Now let me go grab the sea salt before yes, I, forget. I forget the salt. Here it is. Nobody wa wants to eat something that doesn't have good flavor. Okay, there are my 10 cloves. I'm gonna go chop them. I was sitting here chopping, uh, smashing um, the garlic and talking and then I realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> Ooh, I feel so silly now. But I'm going to go chop it and it's going to be in the balsamic sauce. Okay, here is the, here are the ingredients for the sauce going into the pan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move along with it because, okay, it said two tablespoons of olive oil, but I'm using two tablespoons of avocado because I have a higher smoke point. And I just prefer the taste of, olive, of avocado oil too, for some reason. I really just love it. I buy it from Aldi and it is organic. Okay. Then, here go my 10 chopped garlic cloves. And it does not have to be on high. Just be real low here. smell is great. I wish you could smell the mixture of spices in my kitchen right now. Black pepper, red pepper flakes, oregano, garlic, and then it will be balsamic vinegar too. So for now, Gonna use this whisk to keep it moving around. Burnt garlic, there's nothing worse than burnt garlic. Garlic is delicious if if it's done right, but if it's burned, you can forget it. <laughs> okay, it's simmering in there. It's really releasing the aroma and the oil is getting very um, infused with it. So good, delicious. Okay, now let me put a teaspoon of well, this is kosher salt, but it's it's similar to sea salt. And I bought it from Dollar Tree, this course. And it asked for about a teaspoon and a half of brown sugar. So, probably two teaspoons. I have some gravy and mashed potatoes and things made here already. So, at first I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do and I've been procrastinating about this lamb because I'm excited about doing it, but also I'm, I'm scared because I've never done it before. I'm scared of ruining a good piece of meat. And that prevents me from trying a lot of stuff. I'm worried about ruining it. There. Oh my. Mmm. Now, garlic? yes, and now it needs the one cup of balsamic vinegar. I'm not a huge fan of balsamic vinegar, but I have had some in the pantry for ages. It's never even been opened. Oh my. Are you, are you sure it's not, are you sure it's not expired if you've had it in there for a long time? 
Oh, it won't expire. It's, it's good till next year, 2021. It's been in, in there for years. <laughs> it doesn't even expire until next year. I'm making a sauce that goes with the lamb. This thing died? Yes, somebody watered it too much. It's drowning. What about the other one? I cleaned it off. Remember I told you not to, to water them unless they're dry. It was dry. Um, well, somehow it got too much water. Okay. Who did it? I don't know who did it. But it was dying from too much water, so I put it up there and I picked off the dead leaves. Hopefully it'll grow back. Okay. There. I'm going to let that simmer and reduce. Mmm, it smells awesome. Oh my. <laughs> that sauce is awesome. I just... It's getting thicker. And I'm going to let it cook about five more minutes, probably. I'm going to wipe the stove while I wait. Okay, she's going in the oven. Let it cover it up. There it is. Starting the slow business of roasting. She's cooking. Okay, she's golden brown and simmery. She's finally looking beautiful. Because <laughs> I call her a she. Well, I'm. I'm going to roast her a little bit longer. I have no money. She has. There it is. All done. I'm going to paste it now. I'm still recording. Yeah. Okay, now she's basted. I'm gonna cover it up again with the foil for 10 minutes and then baste it again. As the recipe instructs. Okay. I must say it is delicious. Of course, I cooked it much longer than the recipe said. I'll, I'll click clip the link below the video so you can uh, make it if you want. It's so, so good. I love this recipe. I am so happy with it. Of course, I ended up cooking it about an hour because I want my meat well done. But it is awesome. And in the end, I... I should have put the uh, glaze in in my little blender before before I uh, base, before I basted it on, on, onto the meat, but I'll I'll know, know that next time. Uh, it's smoother to blend it first, but uh, I I just poured it all into the blender after I, I glazed it. I took the leftovers and and. Uh, blended it all smooth and creamy together and I think it is amazing thank you for watching everyone 